Welcome to Blender Stuffs. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make this low poly bridge, so let's start. So here we are in Blender, I'm using Blender version 3.0 beta, don't worry if you are using a different version, the fundamentals are same for any version. I'll first delete the stuffs I don't need, I just need the cube. I'll press G then Y and drag it in the Y axis, scaling on the Y axis a bit. Then I'll move it a bit on Z axis. I'll just adjust the scale and location of it. Now I'll just snap its origin to the 3D cursor, because I am gonna use the mirror modifier. I'll mirror it on the Y axis. Now if I want to adjust the distance between the bridge, the mirrored object is gonna move with it. To fix this, I'm gonna add an empty and use it as a mirror object. Now we can do so. We can adjust scale of the land. Now let's add a cylinder and just drag it here. A bit on the Z and just scale it pressing Shift Z so that it only scales in X and Y. I'll also mirror it using the empty. Now it's just a bit high poly, to make it low poly, I'll select these edges and check or deselect it and then press Ctrl X to dissolve the rest. Now we can start with the bridge and add a bezier curve. Press slash to enable local view so that other objects don't get on the way. I'll rotate it 90 degrees on X and Y axis. Now back to global view pressing slash again, I'll move it near the pole. Then I'll start with the upper rope part. I'll just make one fourth of it, and then mirror modifier will do the rest for us. We can just drag it to this side. We can select the same empty again. Also enable clipping cause we don't want the bridge to split into parts while we walk on it. Now let's give this a depth. I'll extrude this part pressing E. Also let's fix this intersection. Now we can make the ropes around the pole. I'll rotate the control points of the curve so that it is perpendicular to the tangent of the pole.
We can go another round at this. We cannot put glue on a bridge rope so let's make a knot. Now let's fill caps then press Alt S to scale the last point. I'll duplicate this to make the lower ropes. We can see it's intersecting and can be fixed easily. Just select this point and drag it up a bit. Now let's start making the planks. I'll scale the cube to make a single plank and place it on the starting post ion. Let's rotate it to make it stick to the rope. We can utilize its local axis by double pressing Z. I'll duplicate it to make the rest. We could have used array modifier, but then we couldn't randomize it. I'll just bevel the top of the pole and don't forget to apply the scale pressing shift before beveling. I'll use bevel modifier on the planks and again apply the scale of all the objects. Select all the object you want to bevel and select the one with bevel modifier so that we can copy it to the rest. Now let's make thing colorful in the shading tab. I'll give a dark brown to the poles and a lighter one for the ropes. Select the ropes and select the one with material last or as an active selection to link the material. I'll give a green shade to the ground and some randomized brown shade to the planks. Now just make a setup to render this. Let's add a plane and scale it bigger. Now let's add the camera and press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to snap the camera view to the global view. I'll extrude these vertices. And also bevel it after that. And shade smooth of course. It's too dark let's add some light. 
I'll use Blender's inbuilt add-on try lighting to light the scene cause lighting is not my thing. I'll select the empty to use its origin for the lights. Let's adjust some of its attributes. Let's add material to the background. Also we can add a area light at the top and make it bigger and powerful. I'll enable ambient occlusion and bloom, make the bloom color a warmer color. and increase the cascade size and cube size under shadows. And let's just render it. So here is the render, see you in the next video.